Hey guys, welcome back to G&G Farming. Today we're going to be laying the tile for the east drops on our 80 by 100 shed. As you can see, Tracy's already started pulling the tile out. I don't know what I'm doing. Oh. Tracy, you lost the end. Oh, okay. Yep. Right. That didn't work. <laughs> now just roll it over your head. Oh, yeah. Other way, dingaling. We're watching him struggle today. He didn't tell me anything. Alright, well, let's take this and let's start dragging it over. So we can mm -hmm. just roll it in. Here we go. We are tugging the big inchworm. Uh, another one? We found a golf ball. We find everything in here. Okay. Ready? You gotta get it around this corner. Fine. Told them to leave that over there. Oh look, it's Sparky's helping over there. Okay, let's get this going. And back she goes. We're gonna fill this dirt up to the second cleat on the wall. And looks like we're stuck. Hi Sparky. He's our helping dog. See these metal things? Those are called the cleats. We're going to move it up to this top one, second one here. That's where the lime's going to be brought up to, just because it'd be easier and it'd kind of be out of the ground. So. And Sparky's back. Sparky! Say hi! Yeah? So, this is going to be our 100 by 80 shed. Ooh, almost fell. That's what it looks like. And that's that in the backhoe. Here we go. We're gonna let's see where he decides to dump it out. Probably. Oh. I don't think we need to dump it here. Real quick. This is how we put lime man, next to the building. As you guys can see, he is hauling rock over and putting it there to fill in because we're trying to fill in the walls, which is going to take a lot of dirt. But that is why we have a wall. 
this. And some lime and rock over there. That he's got to fill it in so then he can, <clears throat> he's got to fill in the outside so then he can go to the inside and fill the inside in. So he can get in here and fill along this side and fill along this down here as well so that we don't fill too much on one side and crumble the wall. Oh, uh, so you can tell who's looking at There's Sparky, our manager. And then uh, we're leveling it off with um, shovels and shoes. Yeah, with shovels and shoes. Um, so, yep. was on the second ring now it's this tall and wait does the sun sun does not like me today so we ended up taking it out making the wider and then we just kind of walked down it and then spread it with our feet like that and it worked out really well because now we're gonna have the east spout running down from there all the way out to there and the water will just drop off and then I'll talk when I get back down there now for down here we're moving it up to the third ring right there third cleat and to do that so it's not just a straight drop off from over there we're gonna slowly elevate it like a ramp until it's at the third ring over there that's Grady, and I'll show you what it looks like. So the reason that we have to elevate it is because of what it will do. Um, over here, you can see our lovely tile. Over here is where it's going to need it because it's going to drop down from there all the way to that, well not all the way, pretty much it's going to stay level. And we're going to just like smooth it out till it gets over there and it'll just make the water run smoother oh no sorry we need this one oh. and my thing is so now what we'll do is so now no spark. But just come back actually in between them. So we'll just pop them in. Put it in the best we can. That now go up so you're I'm working on both sides to make a seat. We have the whole tile laid. There you go now. Then come down and come down past it. No down. 
So you can use your steam. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So, oh, I see. Oh, you come down fast. Okay. Okay. Here. Okay. Yep. So you're just down it. Nice. Okay. Now come right over top of you. manager is here. Why is that perfectly? Oh, well, I'm not sure. I pull it back. Yeah. So now we need to break. So we're going to run up to college. Between these, we need to break these off. Okay. Just in case. Um, so, how big a piece? So I want about as tall as me. Yeah. So while we can tip that, pick that up and tape it, we'll do it before we get dirt in here. Mm -hmm. So then what we'll do is we'll get our piece put on here, get it tied off, and then what I want to do is get a few chips against this just in case you would get a rain. Mm -hmm. Or if this comes in, it doesn't, it'll, it can roll up and push your pipe up. Oh, yeah. Oh, I want to get a few chips on it, so, yeah, I just hit them one way and then hit them another. Oh, sorry, sorry. We are going to uncoil this about 10 feet so it can straighten out so it's not, doesn't have that bend in it for when we make the e-spouts, so. Let's see how this goes. I'm working off the how many feet we need from the end of the tile, which is going to be about here, to all the way out there and add on three feet. So it'll be 33 feet, adding the extra 3 feet, so from the end of that tile over there to right the end there is 30 feet, and we're adding 3 extra feet, so in case we have enough feet, if it, in case, we'll have the extra feet in case this starts uh, sloping out or if something else happens, so it'll uh, make it go a lot smoother. Um, the reason we use our feet is because our feet, if you measure them, uh, are pretty close to a foot, so it makes it easier and stuff. Oh, always having a tape measure on you. I get it. We use the, the pliers, the, the plier holder a lot on our knife. It just, it makes it easier because we don't really have a lot of room to carry a tape measure, which we don't always use a tape measure for everything. So it just makes it a lot easier to use our feet instead. So, yeah. This is like a balance beam when you're walking. <laughs> so, four, five, six, seven, Thank <laughs> you. 
but at the same spot on the tile when I'm moving it. One, two, thirty-three. I have thirty-three feet now. I wanted to cut it. I'll tell you, you cut it, but where's your knife? My pocket. Ate, do you want me to videotape you struggling at cutting? Yes, please. Ate, we're gonna watch him struggle. It's not a struggle. Depending. Right there. Alrighty. Get out of the way and get a better shot. Okay. Alright, so my knife doesn't have the thingy, so. The grooves. Yeah, let's see how this goes. Oh, that's easy. <laughs> what? Granny! Whoops. It cut through! Oh, a little bit of the wrong way. These are the grooves that he's talking about. Mm. Alright. See, I told you, we'd watch him struggle. First time water cutter, or er, tile cutter right here. I think they can tell. I'm going with a poo jack. Actually, it's going really good in my opinion. Yeah, my knife would have already been caught at least ten times. Alright, and that's how you do it with a cricket. With a cur- We're putting rock on it so we can- so it doesn't move. But that's going pretty good. He's still being stuff up. The rock gets very, very dusty, so we can't see through the dust cloud. We're putting dirt in to make it even on each side. We're gonna need a lot of dirt to fill this up because it's gotta be even with that ledge over there. And that's how deep that is. So it's gonna need a lot of dirt. Hey guys, so we are gonna be done for the day. It's getting kind of late, and uh, we're tired. So we are, we are gonna be. So I'll just show you guys what we got done today. So today, today we uh, well this isn't done, but we're gonna we got that we got the that side set with the tile on that side set. <laughs> yeah, we got the ace pouch ran up, and we got that side set up, uh, and filled in. But to where we're gonna do it, cause then we're gonna hire a guy to flatten everything out, cause he's gonna have a dozer and he's gonna flatten it out perfect, uh, flatten everything in there, everything out here along the sides. But originally we were gonna run a line like this on that side, uh, a line, a line like this one, on that side, like uh, on that 100 foot. But then we decided that we, uh, <clears throat> then we just we kind of thought, well after we back over that those two doors a bunch of times it's gonna flatten the tile because it doesn't have enough cover um because like if it, the doors were here it would have plenty of cover um but over there it doesn't so uh, we're gonna have to run a line from here all the way up there uh and over a little bit and then uh we'll put one of those uh we'll do one of these shindiggies uh but without that uh, final piece um and then we'll just run a little bit a little bitty thing like that end over there uh like that um cut off piece over there that's all it'll be over there so it's just gonna be a little 33 35 foot tile piece so uh yep we will see you t we'll pick up here tomorrow um i don't exactly know what time so yep we'll pick up here tomorrow Whenever bye